Hi guys, Ambercraft here. Now, if you're new to this channel, I am the author of Unknown Revenge, available on Amazon, and the upcoming novel, Unknown Love, that I'm trying to traditionally publish. Now, today I want to talk about making a great character. Now, I don't mean all the other things you've probably heard, honestly. I found this in one of the books that I always read, the breakout novel. And I'll put the name of the book down below for you guys. But this is about making a great character. So here are five ways that I have for making a great character. The readers have to care because the protagonist cares. If you're not talking about something that the reader's going to be drawn to, the protagonist probably isn't going to be either. Just saying. You have to allow the reader to know the protagonist in and out as well as they know themselves. And this is where your character charts or character mapping is going to come from. That way you can help the reader know your character and love them or hate them as much as you do. The best way is to dramatize the inner struggle of what drives him or her or the main character, whatever, by showcasing the changes that are happening to them throughout the novel. No matter what's going on, a person is going to change during tough times. You have to figure out what they yearn for and figure out what's going to make them work for it. Number two, you have to put your characters through hell. Now, if you're a writer and most of you, if you're readers too, know Stephen King's whole, you have to kill your darlings. And that's part of it. But it requires the will itself to make your characters go through hell. You have to make them suffer. And through that suffer and going through hell, their true character will emerge. You have to take that, that drive and that yearning and that conflict that they're going through and say, when would be the worst time for the worst thing to happen? How can things possibly get worse and then make it happen? When you drive a character to the edge, like any real life person, things that even they didn't know about themselves are going to come out, be it good or bad. A great book demands a character that even if they didn't know they were great, when pushed to the limits, they're willing to rise to the challenge and save the day or realize that they were wrong and make it right. Number three. Now I said great and not strong in the title because strength is not physical. Strength can also mean cunning smart, humble, witty, having hope, mercy, intuition, etc. Without a character that has morals that make them appealing to the reader, then your character will never be strong and therefore your novel will not be that strong either. That actually leads to number four. The character has to have an inner struggle or turmoil, say that five times fast, and a sense of self-regard is usually an interesting concept to have too. It's what pulls the reader and makes them actually root for the protagonist because they can see parts of themselves or someone they know in the actual protagonist. The inner conflict of a character will actually drive them to the decisions they make towards the outer conflict. Number five is to build a supporting cast just like you would with a play or anything else. You have to have supporting characters that help the main character save the world or just help drive the story along so the character realizes that they're a screw up and they need to fix themselves. To my knowledge, there is no novel that is about one character and one character alone. Even Castaway had Wilson. So, which is more inner, inner dialogue, I guess, but every main character needs a supporting cast and I think even Life of Pi, he had a tiger. So, if there is a novel that has just one person in it, let me know in the comments down below. But that is the five ways of making a great character that I have discovered. And I hope you like this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't. I post videos every week. I hope you guys have a great day. Happy writing. Bye. The character has to have an inner struggle, an inner struggle 
The character has to have an inner struggle. <laughs>